without further further ado, I'd turn the podium over to Mr. Davis. Yay. Well, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is a, uh, an evening that you are going to receive some new information. There's always a time to do this. And now is the time to let you know, because I just broke a code. See, we are world servers. We incarnated to become a world server, not only an Earth server, but a world server and helping to build a new civilization on a higher octave. Incre increasing number of people are recognizing that they are powerful people and that we have ultimate power to be of service to others. The absolute law operates on all levels of spirit and the ultimate goal is to bring harmony throughout the universe to everybody and the individual being moving into perfect relationship with the source for us to become truly Christ conscious. There must be an accounting somewhere in people's nature that they abide by law and obedience to the law brings peace and harmony in the individual manifestations of creativity. Their names belong in the harmony of their higher self. Who is here for the 11-11-11 ceremony on 11-11-11 last year? Please raise your hand. And for those who are not here, I will give you a brief explanation. Number one is new beginning. And 11-11-11 have six new beginnings. Physical, mental, emotional, and three levels of the spiritual, all in one day. It's the most powerful, the most powerful day you can possibly imagine. You see, we are co-creators, and we don't know it. We are full of power, but we are here for everyone. All people are our brothers and sisters. All children are symbolically our children. And we came in the age of Aquarius, which is all the mind, the power of the mind. And I recognize in being a planetary numerologist that this was one of the most important days in history. And after we had the service, a couple of weeks later, things started coming up in different ways in the written form. You may remember this, talking about 11, 11, 11. Our planet rang like, rang like a bell for 20 minutes. This is during 11, 11, that date. And scientists don't know why. Strange waves rippled around the world, and the scientists can't figure out why November 11 was marked by a strange phenomenon. Hmm. Scientific instruments picked up waves more than 10,000 miles away and no one actually felt them. It wasn't an earthquake. In fact, no one knows what it was. Meteorite, submarine volcano, nuclear test, aliens. <laughs> we don't know. 11, 18, 11, 11, 11. Now, when this happened, we realized that this was going to be a powerful time. But remember that every day is a conception day and every day is a birthday. Now, I wonder if 11, 11, 11 was a conception day, which it was, because every day is a conception day and a birthday. Think of a birth of a child. Conceived, right, on a day, 
Nine months later, there's a birth. Well, guess what? That happens on the planet. That happens within us. And we didn't know it. We don't know the power of this energy. And then, and I've got to tell you a story that brought me this realization. This was um, back, back uh, a ways. And uh, this was a 1985, fall of 1985. A psychic called me and said, we have to go to, to Arizona. We're, we are going to see some UFOs. And I said, sure, <laughs> UFO in Arizona. So I said, you know, I'm really a busy guy. You know, I, 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 I'm busy and I don't think I want to be there. Okay, fine. So in the spring, the following spring, another psychic called me and said, someone told you that you're supposed to go to Arizona. Really? And he said, I recommend that you go to Arizona for the UFO experience. And I said, oh my gosh, what a waste of time this is going to be. But on, in August, August 9th, I flew to Arizona. And I met people from all over the country. We, there were probably 25 of us. And they were they're, they're real nice people. And the day before this date, which happened to be our, uh, August 11 of that year, mm. <coughs> a little coincidence here, isn't there? But I didn't know that at the time. I didn't, I didn't understand that. So the day before, all the psychics got together and started, started to bring in the UFOs. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what, <laughs> what, what time's dinner? Let's get this thing over. This is, this is ridiculous. What am I doing here? I wish I could catch a plane and go home. Jeez, oh, please. Unbelievable. So the next day I woke up and everybody was real charged up and we went out to this place that was picked to have this, a beautiful place in Arizona. And they were talking. They were talking to the, to the aliens. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I, think I, I better call a psychiatrist. This is unbelievable. <laughs> And they said that the UFOs were going to be appearing here in a very short period of time. And 10 minutes later, a mothership went over our heads. Wow. Where's my camera? <laughs> my God, it's a mothership. And out, of the, and out of the mothership came many, many, many other ships. And they went up and they went around and they came around. And it, it was about... It was about 30, 30 to 40 minutes that th this was going on. And I was in complete shock of what this was going on because I, I was aware of alien, but I, I never thought I would see UFOs like this. And they were flying up and they were flying down. And then, and, and then the mothership went out a little further and more ships came and, 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 and some green mist fell. I said, holy smokes. This is phenomenal. And then, and by the way, I very rarely share this story, where people would be calling the local psychiatrist. <laughs> Let me tell you. But the most important part of this, and I've been waiting to find out why this happened. Remember, every day is a conception day, and every day is a birthday. And the conception day was this whole 11, 11, 11 of nine months before. Yeah. And this was August 11, got it, of that year. And guess what? The reason I called this together, for you all together here, because we had the 11, 11, 11, right? My planet rang for a bell for 20 minutes, and scientists know why. That was a conception day. And today is the birthday. 
of that energy that was manifested and started on 11-11 of last year. So remember, every day is a conception day. And every day is a day of creating and birth. And when I, when I went through the experience, I said to myself, why did this happen? Now you know why it happened. That 11, 11, 11 created August 11 of that year. And today is a very, very powerful day. It seems the same. Nice weather, warm weather, right? But every day is a conception day and every day is a birthday. The day is a birthday of 11, 11, 11. And we are the birthday of, and we're gonna have a, some prayers here because we are going to create. It's a science. So you've learned something that very few people know. There's this whole thing of creation takes the number nine, but it happens on multi-levels here. So at the end of our service, we're gonna have, we're gonna have some prayers. And we're gonna pass out a prayer. And in my book, Be the Light of the World, uh, I've been doing this for several years where I'm praying for the benefit of all people on planet Earth. But when you have the birth of 11, 11, 11, you've got a powerful day beyond the beyond Ananda. So we're talking about four levels, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, the three levels. And now you know. And now you can see why I didn't tell anybody, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'd be calling, the psychiatrist would be knocking me on the door. <laughs> is John here? That is, that is amazing that this was happening. Because, you know, I, I'm repeating myself now. I wondered, I wondered why, why, why it happened in the first place. Well, it was not only there in Arizona that it hit, but it hit all over the planet and, and they didn't know. And it's just building the positive, the love, the light, the universality, people. Uh, we, we're coming into that time where we're going to have peace on earth. And we are going to be, we're going to be part of the catalyst. And, and before we came on earth, we volunteered to come down and do this. And you see up there the flags of all nations. Yeah. That's uh, not a coincidence. There's our brothers and sisters. All religions are created equal. All nations are created equal. And we're here to help each other. And we are part of the catalyst to bring this into active manifestation. And, and the guides let us know. Our planet rang like a bell for 20 minutes and scientists don't know why. Now we know why. Because this is a very important, a very, very, very important day. What's happening here, this is the birth of a major planetary cycle and it's positive. You are one of the planetary light workers being called to plant mental and spiritual seeds for the future of this planet. August 11 of 2019 has a high potential to be very powerful on all levels for the future of humanity. And we know about it. The question is, how do we prepare for an event as monumentally important as this day? It's a 24-hour window of opportunity on this day to literally change the world. It's the conception. It's the, it's, it's 
it's the conception. Now we are birthing it for the nine energy. We should pray every day. You are strongly encouraged to pray on August 11th today, and, and, we'll, and we'll be having a prayer at the end of this. Your destiny has become the light of the world. And you volunteered to come down and do this. And your destiny is to become a co-creator with a supreme creator to assist this planetary shift. We create by the nature of our thoughts, words, and deeds. Every person has the capacity to help change the world. All it takes is intentional effort to manifest in the world we desire. Each of us can, with proper intent and motivation, take responsibility of the nature and quality of our thoughts and the proper care of human beings who are less fortunate than ourselves in a spirit of philanthropy. We can collectively help eliminate suffering and want among the human family. These are realistic and planetary goals. During this very important day, write your goals down for your friends and family. What do you want? What do you want for this planet? What do you want for the United States? What do you want for the nations of the world in this 24-hour window? Go home and decide what you want because this is powerful. Powerful. Think, think of that manifestation in Arizona. Conception. We're the birth. This is the birth. It's a science. I wouldn't tell your next door neighbor by the way, <laughs> or <laughs> now our responsibility is to think, encourage as many light servers to pray on this day and think as big as possible. But unless you're advanced like you are, you'd be walking out of the room right now, right? Can you imagine your friends and family? Oh, come on over, neighbors. Hey, we got, we got, we got <laughs> you know what happened. Think as big as possible with positive thought projections. This day is powerfully positive on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual dimensions. All peoples of all nations will benefit from this new birth, or this, the birth of 1111, but the conception of the next, the next energy, number nine. Think of the power we have, and it's all about everyone except us. All peoples and all nations will benefit from this birth. If you share this planetary vision, please feel free to share this correspondence with your family and friends. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to cough for that one. No, unless you're advanced, can't be done. Can't be done. So I know you're probably a little bit in shock, but that's all right. You know, Jesus and his 12 disciples, 12 male disciples and 12 female disciples too, by the way. Yeah, the Coptics know that. And they all, every disciple had something special to share. And each of you have something special to share. And this information is something that I broke the code of. It was my responsibility. I, I had to do this, and I thought about it <laughs> very carefully. And, and as you know, I, I haven't mentioned it until now, but the theory and, and the reality is here now. So, here we are. This is a time of celebration. And this evening, you're going to be thinking about about it. Please feel free. And Nancy, will you please pass out the yep. please pass out the prayers? And she's doing that. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a closure here. This is taken from my book, "Be the Light of the World." By the way, my book is out out there. If you're interested in purchasing the book, it's right out. Went right out in the in the other room. 
this this clause goes like this those were those who were here and came again and hereafter will be known as humanity's best friend whose logo of a diamond comes from a rising sun means power that's pure for an age begun whose love for humanity shines so bright no one can doubt their spiritual might the promise of these lights of the world namely you is that all can rise and none need fail and that which was wrought in a human glen is now manifesting in the hearts of all humanity so you all have a, a prayer Since every day is a conception day and a birthday, please read this once a day. I've read it for years. And I go and I meditate and then I always read this, particularly on this day, the conception of 11-11-11 and the birth of something very, very, very powerful. So you all have it? Let's, let's read together. Almighty, Mother, Father, God, I pray for healings on all levels, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, in our families, in our hospitals, in our health centers, in our doctor's offices, psychologist's offices, AA meetings, everywhere else where healing is needed and desired. I pray that all politicians choose peace in all circumstances. Bring the Ten Commandments to national and international expression. I pray all humanity, all children worldwide, are symbolically our children, and all people are our brothers and sisters. I pray that women everywhere are empowered equality with men. All men and women are created equal. I pray that slavery on planet Earth. I pray that government laws be for the benefit of the people, by the people, and for the people. The hungry find food. The homeless find homes. The sick and injured are healed. I pray that all nations share their nation's natural resources, their and other nations. I invite all religious and spiritual leaders to pray daily for all good to manifest on earth, and may continually seek manifestation, peaceful coexistence, cooperation of religions. I pray that businesses succeed in all nations, and as a result of national, international business successes. We want everywhere to find meaning, pray, and life stay work. I pray for my economy, Thank you, lights of the world. Thank you for coming tonight. We love you. Thank you. God bless.